What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Dense Pixels Podcast. I'm your host, Brad, joined by my co-host, Micah. Hey. And Terrence. What's up? So Caught what is up? Say, what's up? Caught me off guard. I didn't uh, know you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, shit. I didn't know six seconds of lead time. Uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't. Not enough to prepare. Um, light docket this week, so we were doing what do you people want. I'm actually looking forward to this because there's a lot of really good discussion topics in there because I peeked ahead. Um, Terrence, do you want to talk about Cuphead now or no. do you want to save it for later? It what? Okay. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh... Yeah. That game can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard though. Oh, it's not hard though. <laughs> oh look, my goodness. Look, look. <laughs> like I'm still on... new eating that fucking potato chip and shit. Like this chip can suck my dick, but it's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the thing about the game is like it's it's a pain in the ass because once you get through the once you get to because you die it's like if you die you got to start the entire level over again and levels can be beaten like a minute and a half two minutes because they stay time they you grade it on speed how many times you parry and like you're super I don't fuck the thing about it is like since the, the levels are like two minutes a piece you can get through them super quick, but like one little fuck up and you get three hit points and you're like, yo, this is not hard. Like, I know that thing is coming. Why the fuck did I get hit by that? Why did I get hit by that? That's fucked up. You put yourself in a situation where you're just going to take damage and you're like, okay, well, okay, I got two hits left. Bam. You get hit right again, like two seconds later. Like, well, I got one hit left. You can still get through it by not taking any damage, which is very possible. But you don't pay attention, and like one little bullet hits you, and you're like, "Well, fuck you." Uh, have you experienced this? I, I read that um, uh, every once in a while, the pattern will change up just to keep you on your toes. Like oh, the bosses, is, yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. switch up on you. They, there's the pattern is never static. Yeah, like when you die, I've. <laughs> I'm probably at like 200 deaths by now. I don't, know. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> I'm like two and a half. Like I've I streamed the first because I've only played it when I was streaming. So I think the first night I streamed for an hour and a, hour and a half, and the second night it was an hour. So I put a two and a half hours into it. I finished the first. I'm on the last boss of the second world. There's three worlds, and I guess like a, fin- a finale or whatever. Um, this dragon is some bullshit. Because I can get through the first three forms. Well, the second and the last form are really tough. The last form, he shoots out bullets, but he sh- you're so close to the to the to the dragon that you have like a split second to move, or else you're gonna get hit. But then, not only does he shoot out one bullet, it splits into four. So like you you're jumping like oh shit I'm, I dodge that, but then he shoots another one out, and they don't always split into four. But sometimes they do, and I don't know the fucking pattern for it splitting into four because you got to beat the first three forms of it to get to that last form. So I was streaming the other night, and I was like, "Fuck it!" I just turned the shit straight the fuck off. I didn't even say peace. I was like, "Fuck this!" Turned it right off because I was so fucking mad. Like, now, let me, it now let me ask you this: because I did not get a chance to watch your stream, even though I really wanted to. Um, did you have to at any point swallow your pride and kick it down to simple? No. Okay. Now, fuck that. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> I did it by mistake, and I'm like, oh, shit, and I, I pressed, I uh, exited out and started it back up on um normal mode. But then they have, like, a hard mode and an expert mode once you finish normal mode. Oops, no. I, I kind of <laughs> want, I kind of want one of our listeners, if they have some free time and they're not doing anything, to make, like, a super cut of Terrence's best moments from his streams <laughs> and make like a three minute video and put that shit in the fan group because it'll be fucking hilarious. At one point, I like threw my mic because I got so mad and I just unplugged it for like 30 minutes. I was still playing, but I was just like, I can't know. It, it's, it's fucking frustrating, dude. It really is. But at the same time, like, I can't say it's hard. Like, I don't, I don't know. 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 I don't get it. It's not hard. It really isn't. 
I'm watching somebody fight this dragon now. And um Yeah, like it like yeah, and he did it. And it took him like a minute and a half. Yeah. You like, actually beat the shit like it's, it's literally like a minute and thirty seconds. You're like, oh shit, it only took that long to fight. Yeah, the boss battles aren't people. actually long. Yeah, they're not long. long. It's just you die <laughs> seven hundred yeah, times, times so. <laughs> until you finally get it. I'm like, oh cool, whatever. You know what to do, and then like Yeah, like it like it it you could, you just gotta know what to do. It's just like Something, something will happen. Some bullshit will happen. Yeah, You're something like, happened. And like, bam! Whoa! I uh, <laughs> didn't see that one coming. Because you're focused on the boss, and then like a little projectile comes and hits you. You're like, oh well, I wasn't paying attention. I like, I don't like. I play it on on the monitor, so I don't have a big real. I don't have a lot of real estate to look at when I'm playing on the big TV. I just want to. I want to be able to not have to turn my head <laughs> to see where the bullets are going. I just want to be able to focus on this little ass monitor. So. But mm, I'm gonna finish it though. <laughs> wait, wait till you get to the uh, casino boss guy because I heard he's a he's a or real king of dice or whatever, the fuck whatever his name is. Oof. Is he the last guy? No, he's not. He's the second to last guy, but arguably he's the hardest boss fight oh. out of them. So because there have been some pretty tough ones, like that fucking um, ice cream chick or the candy woman. That chick was a pain in the ass because that last form she throws her head at you and it like home it like homes in on you where you're going and then the sh- she shoots out a little peppermint that rolls on the ground it's fucked up but it's 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 fun but mm. <laughs> 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 Yo, we were like i'm surprised you're still playing i'm like well i don't like to lose yeah well, one of these days I got to download, uh, I got to find your stream. I don't know if I can download your streams or not, but yeah, I want to look at, pre- you can look at previous streams. You can probably okay. find something to download them on. Well, then we should, uh, we should upload those to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash dense pixels. Uh, make sure you visit there. If you've not done that yet, hit subscribe while you're there. If you hit the bell, you'll get notified when we do post new content. Cause we post the, every episode of this podcast on there. Um, also let's plays that we do and stuff like that. So, uh, Make sure you check that out. And then uh, if you've not subscribed for premium content, densepixels.com slash premium. It's only $5 a month or $50 for the entire year. It gets you access to the Look Forward Political Podcast, the Arium Grievances, the Men with the Golden Tongues, and No Time to Bleed, in addition to video episodes of the flagship podcast, The Apocalypse. So again, uh, that is densepixels.com slash premium. Sign up today uh, if you haven't done it yet. Um this is the last big release week basically for the year um there's a lot of substantial games coming out most notably which we will be talking about later in the show star wars battlefront 2 because they have had quite a day today (laughs) ea has had Uh, also releasing lego marvel superheroes 2 uh the sims 4 is finally getting a console release three years later uh demon gaze 2 uh, the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim VR, because, you know, they had to release it for a sixth year in a row. Uh, that's also coming out on Switch, not VR, obviously, later this week. Uh, Ellie Noir is getting a re-release as well on PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. And Fake Road Rage is coming out this week as well. What is Fake Road Rage? It's a new Road Rage game, but it's not being published by EA. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to call it Fake Road Rage. Rash? Gotcha. Oh, I thought I thought Road Rage was EA. I don't know what the fuck Road Rage is. I've never. Oh man, I'm I'm getting my my road my bicycle <laughs> road games confused. Then, so this is just a new game, Road Rage. Is uh, it motorcycles? It is motorcycles. Yeah, I, I I'm pretty sure they're going for a Road That's Rash nice. yeah. inspiration for sure. Digitally, uh, for some reason, Hulu released an app on the Nintendo Switch last week. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know we criticized, or at least I criticized the Switch for not having any media apps when the system released, but now that I have one, it doesn't need them. No, yeah, like, you don't, the Switch is not where you go for that. Right. So, but hey, Hulu app on Nintendo Switch in case any of the other 500 devices that are in your house don't use Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> um, Knights of Valor is a is a beat, side-scrolling beat-em-up that's coming out on PlayStation. The only reason I put this on the docket is because in the description for the game, they specific, the first thing they said is arcade never dies, <laughs> which yeah, I have so to yeah. imagine is a direct okay. response to uh, Housemark. <laughs> it's got to be, doesn't petty. it? Like the week after 
that statement comes out from Housemark, this is this is what's in the description on their game on the PlayStation Store. Mm. It's a little too coincidental for me. I don't believe in coincidence. Everything has a reason. Yeah. Uh, God. I- <laughs> i will not dignify that with a response um ashes cricket a cricket game comes out on digital storefronts as well and then schoolgirl slash zombie hunter which is a ps4 game uh set in the onichan bara universe is also releasing as well and then release dates announcements just one bit, bit of news uh destiny 2 or sorry, Bungie rather announced that Destiny 2 is going to get 4K HDR support on PS4 Pro and Xbox One X when the Curse of Osiris DLC comes out. Why they didn't have this at launch, I have no clue, but it's nice that it's coming. I guess they had to wait for the One X to release before they uh, decided to do that patch. I guess so. So that is all the release date news. Uh, let me pass it over to Terrence with our with our meager headlines. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Uh, first up, hey, anybody see anybody check out that uh fighter pack three for um, I did for uh justice two? That was a uh, something <laughs> I don't I don't know why enchantress is in this game. <laughs> I, love how, I love how that's the first thing you're bringing I, up. Look, look, she don't need to be there. I'm fine with the other characters. I mean, you're, um, you're right. She does. <laughs> everyone's yeah. everyone's everyone's freaking out about the guest character, and you're just like, "Why is Enchantress in here?" I've got no idea. So. Yeah. So, so in the in Fighter Pack Three, uh, we got um, Ant Man, whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> the Adam, Adam. the Adam, <laughs> <laughs> same fucking character. I uh, yes, Adam. Quite frankly, I would rather he not be there. How about yeah, that? Yeah, I'd, he's worthless too to me personally. Uh, the only character that I give a damn about in this pack is the Tam Turtles. Sorry. Yeah, the two uh, <laughs> Ninja Turtles are going to be yeah. in Injustice. That's hilarious. Oh, not, not, not not just the Turtles, the 1990 movie Turtles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like the best <laughs> ones. Uh, Ed uh, Boon was right. How the fuck didn't that leak out before? Yeah, that's a they shock. That this. was the one that, that's, that shocked the fuck out of me. Like, Well, because remember, I told you guys when they announced Hellboy... Um, and I and and it, the the reps from WB told us like we have an even bigger surprise in Fighter Pack Three, yeah. and I was like I believe you, but I can't imagine it's what right. it would be. Yeah. And this 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 yeah. is this qualifies for sure. <laughs> this this shocked the fuck out of everybody. Like I I, I I watched the 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 uh, the trailer for it. I didn't like that explosion happened and then an enchantress popped up and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, this is going to be whack. <laughs> <laughs> like first is, first of all, it's the Adam who cares. Right? Yeah. Like it's, it's Brandon Ralph <laughs> <laughs> is going to be in this game essentially. Right. <laughs> and then the enchantress, like what, like, unless, unless she does all this shit, <laughs> when it, as a special move, like who cares? Unless she starts dancing like the Chiquita Banana, like like she did in in that movie, who cares? Right? So I'm just like, yo, this fighter pack is lame. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, and then we see a sigh, and I'm like, yo, is it Melina? I didn't even I didn't even think that because I I was like, if it's Melina, I don't give a fuck. I don't. And then but I then, saw the trench coat. I was like, yeah, I saw the silhouette. I'm like. Because right? <laughs> <laughs> I love that's one of my favorite movies of all time. The, teen, the, the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, and I'm like, is that Raphael? And then he started talking. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit! And I'm like, wait, I wait to... a minute. Why did they pick just him? And then the rest of them came. I'm like, wait, how the fuck is that gonna work? I need to I'm pause. Like, First of all, quick. that's awesome. What? I need to pause real quick on this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is one of your favorite yes. movies of all time. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. I've that, seen that movie countless times. That movie has not aged well. Yes, it has. Fuck you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it has. When was the last time you watched it? It's been it's been a minute. I love that movie. The first one is fine. The second one, yeah, the second and third nah. one, go to hell. Like those are terrible. Um, but yeah, that first one, it's awesome. 
All right. Well, um, let's, but anyway, let's, yeah, let's, let's get back to Justice Team. <laughs> now, anyway. now, did they but, confirm? Did they confirm how they're working no, in the game? Are they one character or are they four characters? I don't know how. No one knows how it's going to work. It's either going to be somehow with the trait button, or it's going to be like how they did Triborg. That's my two. That's the only way I can think about it. Because they had Triborg. It was Smoke. It was um, Cyrax and um, what's the other one? Red dude. Sector. <laughs> Sector. Sector. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, you can just choose. Me, I, I don't know. Maybe that's how you do it. Maybe if it's the trait, I, I don't know. But that's four fucking people. That's crazy. Or well, it's four characters on that's one. Four characters with different weapons, which yeah, means different, different weapons. Boxes. So it'd be completely different moves. So I'm very curious to see how yeah. this works. It can be four characters, especially with Leonardo talking about. Oh, we fight as we fight as a team, Mikey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right, I'm just says that, I'm be, like, oh man, I'm just gonna be Raphael because <laughs> I'm black. What if you what if you pick yeah. one and then like the other characters like work like assists in Marvel? I don't know. There's there's a lot of different things they could there's do. A, there's a bunch of different this. ways it can be done, but that's that's four different move sets. Like, so who's gonna be the main one if they do decide to Probably do Leonardo, like Leonardo? Of course, it's gotta be like oh, oh, he's the back. No, not Leonardo. Well, fuck that. Raphael. Raphael. He's got no, it would not be Raphael. That's corny, yo. I don't want. I don't want Leonardo. If he's the main one, I don't want him in the game. <laughs> fuck it. Maybe there'll be like, uh, maybe because uh, you know, Poison Ivy. Her trait brings out that little plant dog. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe you press the trait button, and one of them comes out and does something, you know, stupid. And then you press the other tra- press the trait button again, and if that turtle is, hasn't been hit, then another one comes out. I, I have no idea, man. I have no idea because if the trait button is the most obvious, like yeah, that's the way. Like that's how they're going to incorporate it. If it's going to be four on one character, like you have right. to do it that way. If you like press back with fireball and trait, like one of them will come out. You know what's you know what's going to happen. Wonder Woman has. Her trait button is you hit it and a random buff comes out. Yeah. So I'm thinking you are going to be able to pick one of the four. And then when you press the trait button, one of the one other three pops out. Yeah, will will pop out and, and do something. Like like you said, Brad, like an assist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh um, that's whack. They could uh they could assist in getting rid of Adam and Enchantress. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> upset. I'm really upset that those two characters are in this game. Yeah, I, I could do as without opposed those. to as opposed to other characters. Like I'm with you, Malcolm. Like you could have had static in this bitch. Uh, you could you literally could have had anybody else, and I would have been okay. Like I was thinking, Mera, Aquaman's wife, was going <laughs> to be, in it, and I would have been okay with that. Not fucking the Enchantress. Yeah, that's a whack fucking pull, man. Got them movies, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> nah. But they, those, like, people were pissed off about the turtles. I was pissed off about the other two fucking characters. Right. Who's mad, fuck at, who's mad at the Ninja Turtles, y'all? Like, <laughs> it's the Ninja Turtles, man. Well, we'll, uh, when we get to question of the week, there's an oh, interesting man. conversation that we'll get into mm. around that, that me and Johnny were, we weren't really getting into it this week, but we were talking about it offline. So. Oh, well. Yeah, we could do but, it up. But yeah, he 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 poses an interesting question later in the show. So, All right. uh, and the only other story for headlines, I think, uh, is <laughs> this is also fucking stupid. Uh, Noctis from uh, Final Fantasy Fifteen is going to be in Tekken Seven. Now, Micah, you what? you both enjoyed Final Fantasy Fifteen, yes. and you enjoy Tekken Seven. Yes. So your reaction truly is the only one that actually <laughs> matters on this story. Um. To me, it seems dumb. Out of nowhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't... That's to be expected in this game, which consists of fighters uh, uh, like a bear and a dinosaur and, you know, like, uh, at least it's a fucking human. <laughs> it, it, and, I, and I don't have a problem with... Um, with this being a guest character, like a Final Fantasy character being a guest character, I don't even have a problem with a guest character from Final Fantasy 15. The problem is that the main character in Final Fantasy 15 is the lamest character in Final <laughs> Fantasy 15. Like, he's a spoiled prince 
who is he's he's emo. Like I'd rather have emo Dante in it because at least that guy has personality. Now I don't like that personality, <laughs> but he has personality. Like this guy, this kid is just a sullen loser. Yo, I didn't know his full name was Noctis Lucius Callum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It makes me laugh for some fucking reason. I'm like, what the fuck? Lucius? Really? Okay. His yeah. father was a big fan of Empire. <laughs> now, what I did not realize that this well, story Batman. also tells us is that uh, <clears throat> apparently Geese still has not come out. Yeah, yet. what the no. fuck? I thought he, he would have been out yet. <laughs> when is he coming out? I have no idea. I checked. Second, just because I was like, oh, well, they announced this. Did I yeah, miss the guy? This nigga ain't Why? coming out until like May of 2018. Why would you announce a guest character months before that <laughs> guest character comes out in a fighting game? Like, literally months. I, May 18th of 2018? Like, it, like, it's one thing if you're announcing a pack of characters and then the last, you know, characters of the pack don't come out until several months from now but you can't be like geese howard's coming and then like four months later it's like geese howard's still coming and now we're gonna announce another character while we're still waiting for geese like they don't they don't know what they're doing right now they don't know how to release characters no, well they know they're working on fucking dragon ball fighters right now so they're not working on it no well, i mean they, yeah they're, they're not but Nam namco bandai maybe mm. has something to do with the release schedule perhaps I don't know. I just think, <laughs> I mean, he looks fine, right? Like the the gameplay I mean, footage, he looks, he looks cool. Fine. Yeah, he he looks like he does in Final Fantasy fifteen. He his move set looks very similar to the combat style. He just has he has no personality. Like he has three bodyguards, and every single one of those bodyguards has some sort of personality, and they're much more interesting. Um, Noctis doesn't get interesting until late in the game when he gets some some facial hair and grows up a little bit and looks <laughs> like uh looks like uh he's cosplaying as like Keanu Reeves cosplaying <laughs> as a Final Fantasy character. You know what I mean? Like if John Wick decided to walk into Final Fantasy, like that's what Noctis looks like as a grown up. Um, he does have a sword, so I guess we're playing Soul Calibur now. And this feels like a Soul yeah. Calibur type move, right? Because Soul Calibur, yeah. like they had Ezio oh, Auditore in there. And well, I was gonna say if they if they had put him in, in a Soul Calibur game, that would make more sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> like right. didn't, didn't they have like a brawler character in Final Fantasy fifteen? Um, they all had uh they all had weapons. Prompto okay. was the blonde guy, he had a gun. Uh Ignis was the guy, the nerd. He used, he was the Donatello, he used he uses magic. And uh, Gladio is the Raphael, and he uses a big ass sword. So interesting. Okay, I'm not offended by it. It's just it's a bizarre choice. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, what the fuck? Okay, it was out of nowhere, but like not in an oh my god, this is a, the fucking Ninja Turtles, right? Like, because I have like 30 years of baggage you know, kind of creeping up to the surface when I see the Ninja Turtles getting ready to fight Batman and Superman in a video <laughs> game. Whereas, you know, this doesn't really... The guy that's hawking cup noodles <laughs> is about to fight the Vince McMahon of the of the fighting game scene. Hey, Hachi, like, what? what? Like, uh, huh? I would have rather they had taken another uh, fighting game character. And uh, put them in there. Like, even if it was like something super obscure, like Skullomania, put <laughs> Skullomania in that bit. Why not? We're putting we're putting more distinctive Final Fantasy character. I don't I don't think Noctis is going to stand the test of time as a classic Final Fantasy hero, right? Yeah, but then the only other choice is Cloud. Yeah, I was about to say, and you throw Cloud in like, and if you're going to put Cloud in a game, put him in Soul Calibur, like. Everybody else get out of there. If there is ever another Soul Calibur. Yeah, there won't be. Which we'll see. Yeah, probably like you said, probably not. So that means then that if you want to play Soul Calibur, you're forced to play Soul Calibur 5 on your uh, <laughs> Xbox 360 and PS3, which I'd imagine that you can get on densepixels.com slash Amazon for like $10 at this point. <laughs> 
don't just buy that though, because if we only get thirty cents <laughs> off of that purchase, that's not that's not very good for the show. <laughs> buy other stuff too, because if you didn't know. When you go to densepixels.com slash Amazon, when you buy anything off of Amazon.com, we get a small percentage of the sale, which helps pay for overhead stuff like hosting fees and equipment. Uh, thank you to all of you guys who have used our link, and thank you to those that continue to use it. But again, densepixels.com slash Amazon. Holidays are coming up. You're going to be shopping on Amazon.com. So just use our Amazon link. Help the show. Your favorite That's video right. game podcast. Negro Friday is coming up real <laughs> soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> speaking of spending money electronic arts announced that it will acquire uh titanfall maker respawn entertainment for 315 million dollars in cash and stock plus a possible bonus of 140 million the deal could bring uh, a new long-term franchise into the fold so that they can bleed it dry and then make a game that's a shell of itself. Vince Vince Lam Vince Lampella or what what the fuck's his last name? Vince Zampella. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Like 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 did you not did you not just see what happened to Visceral <laughs> right. over the course of all those years? <laughs> Did you not see what happened to all those other studios that came before who had great properties that, you know, maybe published through EA, but then EA's like, oh, we're going to bring you into the fold. They're like, sounds great. This is this. No, nothing bad can come from this. Oh, you want us to do what with our single player survival horror adventure game? Or <laughs> you want to do co-op and make it action oriented? <laughs> That doesn't <laughs> seem like a good idea. That You're stupid. taking inspiration from Armageddon. What? <laughs> um. Yeah, Vince Sampella was he. He met the Silver Surfer, and the Silver Surfer was like, "Yo, I got it. Yo, this guy Galactus. It's a real cool guy. Maybe you should try <laughs> to get into the fold." So apparently, <laughs> apparently, what actually happened <laughs> is that I think it's Nexon who made the Titanfall mobile game made an overture to buy respawn this is according to jason schreier of kataka by the way so they made an overture ea apparently had right of first refusal they closed after they find out that nexon put in an offer for respawn they shuttered visceral and then purchased respawn themselves so you can connect those dots and see that perhaps the the closing of visceral though seeming inevitable was timed because of this specific deal mm -hmm. um which stinks but it makes the closing of visceral much more understandable because they needed to free up some assets obviously this is still seems like a terrible idea yeah for man. respawn i um i mean quite frankly you were lucky to get a second titan fallout right and now you're getting a third one Right. Allegedly, mm -hmm. yeah. Let's see how that one turned out with EA. Wow. I mean, let's let's for let's let's of course forget the fact that EA sent Titanfall two out to die, <laughs> literally with the release date. They sent it out to die, right? But uh, but against all odds, because they you know made a good game and they answered yeah. a lot. Of fans. <clears throat> it probably did well enough that they're going to make another another one. Mm -hmm. uh, according to Zampella, there's the, the studio is also retaining creative control, which yeah, okay. That's fine. <laughs> Let's see what happens when the game actually come at, comes out. Retaining creative control. That's a that's a creative way of saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and apparently they're also working on a Star Wars game. Oh, of course they as are as well. God so. damn it. God but damn res it. Respawn? Yes. Huh. Yes. Well, have have fun uh have fun not making any more titanfall games have fun making uh you don't think we'll see games. titanfall 3 i think you will but if they're making star wars games guess what you're going to see uh <laughs> star wars front battle 1 2 and 3 <laughs> <laughs> where you're playing where you're playing uh as a as a uh a stormtrooper and you get to jump in an atst hmm. I'm telling you, yeah. and that'll yeah. be the new respawn. Uh, that'll be the new Titanfall. 
what's even funnier about this is the whole reason that respawn exists right is because Thank of the you. situation right that Vampella had with the publisher division right that owned the studio. yes what the fuck is <laughs> what is he doing Oh man, that guy must have uh that guy his name his last name is Zampella, so I'm gonna be racist and assume that he is uh Italian. And as we all know, all Italians are connected to the mob in some form of fashion. <laughs> he probably owes a lot of money to uh to, to some dangerous folks. Yeah. To some to some really, really bad dudes. And um he needs to do whatever he can to make make some money quickly. It's kind of like he he's kind of like Jason Bateman's character in Ozark. Like <laughs> he's got to he's got to hurry up and launder some money. So, I hope it works out for him. I do too, man. Yeah, the, I don't the, think it the is. Track record, the track record does not lead me to believe that it will. But um yeah. Okay. Uh more EA news. Uh Star Wars Battlefront 2's heavy cost for unlocking uh, prime playable characters is getting a big haircut by 75%. Um, the news came in a blog post on the Battlefront site. This, uh, uh, it In it, it says that an update is coming to reduce Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker's unlock cost to 15,000 credits. From 60,000 credits. From 60,000 yeah. credits. The credits are an in-game currency that cannot be bought with real money. So you have <laughs> to play it and you have to earn that money. So you basically have to earn your um, those characters. Uh, John, some guy named John. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. From Wazalik, for Christ's sake. Uh, John Mixelplix. Um <laughs> says that based on what we've seen in the trial uh because they had a like a beta based on what we've seen in the trial this amount will make earning these heroes an achievement but one that will be accessible for all players yeah that's not that's not why this happened yeah fuck <laughs> off John. that's not why this happened apparently the reason why this happened is because people that had the game in early access on xbox quickly calculated um, that you would need about 40 hours of gameplay to earn enough credits to unlock either Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader and posted about this. And then EA, a, com a community representative for EA went on to Reddit to try to basically answer, you know, why it was this way. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it became the most hated Reddit post of all time. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Which also led to death threats for this community manager and some of the developers for the game. Yeah, it was wow. uncalled for. Oh, like, come on, man. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> like, I'm with you, and then you just go right off a fucking cliff. Like, all right, well, fuck you then. Um, You threaten my life? Guess what? Guess what? 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> right. Fuck off. That's fucking funny. We'll take them out completely. Shut up. Right. Just so, continue. Just continue to move the goalpost in every patch. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, and you got them now. Guess what? I'm locking them back up and you get <laughs> an additional hundred thousand credits. Go fuck yourself. Threaten me. Don't you know who I am? I'm I'm fucking John Mixoplex. Whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> <laughs> is name? Are we uh, are we commending EA for uh, for making this change, reacting to community negative negative backlash from the community? No, nah, because you don't uh, you don't uh, negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. <laughs> uh, those people threaten his life. Yeah, uh, that's fucked up. Nah, man. I, hey. Fuck that. that me. I, this is America, Jack. So, if it took 40 plus hours or whatever to unlock them uh, to begin with, they knocked it down to 75%. Could you just buy them? No. You couldn't? Nope. But you actually, you had to literally play 40 something hours? Yes. To get to them. Okay. But they still have those loot boxes, right? They do still have the loot boxes for, for other things. Boxes yes. That gives you like boosts and shit, right? Yep. Okay. 
So I they just, knocked this down 75%, but they still got the loot boxes. It, well, yeah, they're not going to get rid of I the mean, loot boxes. But the, sure the thing about the loot boxes is, like, those loot boxes can have things that, like, not just cosmetically, but they give you boosts. They do. Yeah, like, that's still a fucking problem. <laughs> oh, no, it's still, it, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not absolving Battlefront 2 of all of its sins. I'm just, you know. I do find it curious, though, that the same people who are bitching about loot boxes and, and desiring in-game unlockables that you can't buy with real money microtransactions lamented the fact that they had an in-game unlockable that you couldn't yeah, buy you with couldn't in-game buy, and then they got mad at the amount of time. I'm like, I'm not going to, I would never unlock them. I'm not fucking playing that goddamn long. The game don't seem that fucking fun enough to be playing for 40-something hours. I mean, so, so, so EA, like EA's justification for why it, it took so long to unlock them in the first place was to make it like a real achievement when you got like a Luke Skywalker or a Darth Vader. And like if someone like you played against a multiplayer saw that you had that, they would know that you're someone who had put in a you shitload a lot of, time of time in the game. But here's the thing. Someone is going to have them. Someone would have had them within a week. People are <laughs> yeah, probably crazy as well. They'd have had them over the weekend. Right. Somebody would have had it in two days. Yeah. They'd have and just they just would have stayed up for 40 hours and then just slept eight hours. Right. Someone would have done that. So I don't Look, like I'm like, again, I don't give a fuck because I'm not buying the game. But like that 40 hours is going to be attainable to a lot of people. They just got salty because it's going to take that long. And be and they wanted to play those two main characters that have been in fucking battle has been in star wars lore forever they're like the t- they're the two main guys right mm-hmm. Look, yeah so what the fuck if i was if i was john whiskey jack i would <laughs> tell them i would i would have kept i would have kept the amount of credits but i would also make it skill based like you want to, you call it an achievement all right well maybe you need to do something so f- awesome that it is an actual achievement that will unlock this that will unlock this uh character tie it to have some have some ridiculously hard achievement you know in the list of achievements mm. and then once you unlock that achievement then you get them like i, I no Do you think I people would have been f- cool with that i think they would have i think they i think they would have <laughs> Because oh, you mean just keep the credits, but like if they unlock this particular achievement before, then they, they get it they early. Get the credits and they unlock it earlier. Oh, okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. And they unlock it for free. All you got to do is play the game and be good. Right. I'll, I'm going to disagree with you in this case because I think, especially with this game in particular, I think at this point, EA is damned if they do and damned if they don't. I think they're going to get negative backlash, any no matter what they do with this game, because of how much has come out about it already mm. so, so, so just so just make your game just make your game. it's it's already going to suffer in sales because there's already enough people that view it as pay to win enough that they're not going to buy it or at least wait until reviews come out to see if it's true if it tr- you know still truly is pay to win and you're not going to get those people back probably you know what i mean like what are you going to give those people as an olive branch to be like no no you you should come play our game even though we fucking suck at life as a company <laughs> And are terrible. <laughs> it's like Republican uh, voters, man. Like at some point, yes. you just you just, you just got to stop trying, and just and just run your platform, run your campaign. Yeah. Well. So, were you or any of you planning on picking this game up? Yes, but I'm not giving EA money for it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh well. There you go. So they don't they don't get any more of my money anymore. EA doesn't. Yeah, I don't blame you. The brakes. They fucking, they dicked us over, man. They took Mass Effect and they took our, they took our beloved Mass Effect and treated, treated her like a $2 whore. That's right. I'll, I'll, I'll hold my money hostage till you release Mass Effect. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't appreciate that shit. Quite frankly, I'm, I'm shocked that they haven't been working on like a mass, a, a up res Mass Effect trilogy or whatever. And it's funny because I remember, I distinctly remember when that topic came up and Peter Moore, who was then at EA, said, yeah, we could do this and make a quick buck, but that's not what we're all about. Mm -hmm. And I applauded Peter Moore. And then Peter Moore left to go run Liverpool Liverpool Football Club and everything's gone to shit. (laughs) It's all Peter Moore's fault for leaving. God damn it, Peter Moore. (laughs) 
Christ. Uh, so unless there's something that I missed. No, we get to move on to a robust uh, question of the week that is that is nakedly here to pad the show because I knew that we would have no news <laughs> to talk about this week. <laughs> so we asked, what do you people want us to talk about? And this is going to be good. Um, we get started off with a bang from Amir who says, I heard Cuphead wasn't hard, so I wanted to know how Terrence was doing on beating it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. I, I can be taken so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, I'm almost done. I got one more world and a boss and like or whatever. I'll finish it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> It'll. It's it's just a pain in the ass. Are That's you like, going to Are you going to play it on a uh, Master Ninja mode or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a try. <laughs> I, okay. uh, like, I mean, what did I, mean, I wonder? What are the uh, what makes it harder? Do you have like one hit point? I think they just throw bullets. more projectiles at you. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see what it's all about. And then I think they do that. Whether I want to f- go through that bullshit or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to see what it's like b- before I before I actually uh, give my answer. Uh, Daniel says alcoholic drinks of choice or regular drinks if alcohol is not your thing. I will answer for my good crystal lights. Um, <laughs> it, is, it is it is my go to um, crystal light water and uh, 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 here's one out of left field a root beer float. Ugh. You don't like root beer floats? Is, no, root, root like, beer is like ice cream in a float. In that, that would yeah, be ice cream, yeah. ice cream, and root beer. That's disgusting. I don't want ice cream in my drink. It's good. I don't. It's I good. don't want root beer. I, root beer is, is gross. Well, uh, root beer is not gross. I like. I like root beer. I like certain root beer. You can't like. There's a lot of subpar root beer out there. Mug, looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> my grandparents used to buy mug root beer all the time. Yep, and that and 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 it is a product of the forties. That's what that that's what that is. Like, are you are you an A and W or a Barks man? Uh, I prefer what is it? Uh, IBC. Or IBC. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like they have the cream beer. soda and they have the root beer soda. Uh, the root beer. Those are both pretty good. IBC is the the uh, root beer of choice. Everything else is a pale imitation. Terrence, what is your alcoholic beverage of choice? What uh, what nigga drink do you drink? <laughs> <laughs> Hypnotic, <laughs> Alize, Incredible Hulk. Interesting thing is I don't, <clears throat> I don't drink any of that shit, honestly. I drink beer, like craft beers. <laughs> like I'm a 35-year-old white man. I drink IPAs. I don't know what those are. Indian pale ales. Um, Indian beer? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't. Yeah, it, like if it's like, if it's just some like weird type of like beer, I'll give it a try. Like I don't drink a lot of like liquor. I don't drink uh, like that. That scotch. I'll drink some scotch. It's free from Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I drink that uh, whiskey, that bourbon, shit, that um smoked maple. That You've old had creek it. or whatever. Yeah, that uh, that knob creek, that that yeah. smoked maple. I know you've had it, Brad. Uh, that's my go-to sipping whiskey. That shit is, is really that knob creek good, maple. <laughs> that shit is so good. But yeah, um, any other time it's just basically like any kind of craft beer. Does <laughs> knob creek taste like Aunt Jemima or something? Like what? what, what uh, yeah, no, kind of does. It kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that would be very dangerous for you to drink, probably. Like it's yeah, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need that at all. Yeah, if you, no... if you were into alcohol, you would become an alcoholic. I would be dead. <laughs> all this shit has to do is taste good. If it's good, I'm I'm I'll down it. Um, I'm a I'm a whiskey sour guy. If I'm if I'm drinking a mixed drink, um, with bullet rye whiskey, it's my go to whiskey of choice. That's my that's my sister's favorite whiskey. Yeah, it's it's really Love fucking it. good. Yeah. It is. Um, as far as beer goes, I don't drink IPAs because they're disgusting. Um, oh, well. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a dark beer guy. I like I like a stout. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a stout guy. Also, so I like a, a Guinness. I like a brown ale. My favorite beer is uh, is six is a, from a brewery called Six Point Brewery. It's called Sweet Action. Um, I think I had it at your house one day. Yeah, it's really fucking good. 
Um, and I'll drink uh, I'll drink some tequila from from time to time, not too often, but uh, yeah, usually whiskey is what I go to. If I'm feeling really froggy, um, I'll drink some Glenlivet Scotch. It's celebrating something. Um, but that's about it. Tequila. Yeah, and like margaritas mm-hmm. and shit like that. I don't drink it straight. Is that the shit that like doesn't freeze, or is that vodka? That's all alcohol, basically. Yo, <laughs> I ain't put nothing in my mouth. I'm no. Pu- I'm not putting any liquid in my mouth that doesn't freeze. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is the book of the devil. Get out of here, man. <laughs> All alcohol? Is... Nah, yo. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's the, one of the greatest things about it. Are you kidding me? Nah. So you can have an extreme cold nah. all the time. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, Johnny I says Survivor. That. Sorry again? I did not know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like pretty because I don't yeah because the just yeah the alcohol won't uh won't I'm sure there's some alcohol that freezes but most of it does not so wow um Johnny says Survivor Series and ta- and Takeover are both this weekend who do you got I don't know who's in it I know like I'm <laughs> I, like even though I've been watching WWE like I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of lost on the card like I, like Brock Lesnar's fight AJ Styles I can't imagine Brock Lesnar does not win that match Wait, what oh Jinder Mahal lost the title. To AJ yeah. Styles, oh, yeah. on and, SmackDown this past week, and the WWE app spoiled it for everybody. Yes, they did because it was taped because they they were over in uh in England. So. <laughs> wow, <laughs> really? Um, um, the only thing I want to see is the tag team match. Uh, that'll be pretty good too. Um, not as good as it. Wait, which tag team match? There's gonna be two, or there's gonna be several tag team matches rather. Uh, the traditional tag team match. Oh, okay, the Survivor Series traditional tag team match. You're not excited no, for no, New no, Day no. versus the Shield? No, 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 no. I'm I'm excited for uh a a tag team match. The um Sheamus and Cesaro versus the Usos. Oh, That's I'm I'm, I'm more excited for Shield versus New Day. They that are, uh, is that announced? Uh, it's not announced, but you better fucking believe it's I happening. Mean, yeah, it, it's they'll, they'll probably announce it tonight. Yeah, and, and yeah, I'd be excited for that. Those are the only two matches I'm excited for. Those two. Hmm. I don't know who's wrestling. <laughs> like, I have I, like, like, like the takeover card. I know they're doing war games, but they're doing like the fake ass war games. That was the like the th- the three verse three verse three war games. So I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. Um, but I kind of wish that they were just doing the f- you know the four on four five on five version because that's that's where it's at with war games. Um, and then yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the in the brand uh, Survivor Series match because they're setting up for some shenanigans to happen in that one. So we'll see. We'll have we'll have our review next week for you guys. So you got that to look forward to. In addition to uh, next week's show, the nomination for the Keelys is being announced tomorrow. Oh, so you'll get our reaction for that. Oh snap! Uh, Zelda's gonna win Game of the Year. Yeah, I think it's a foregone conclusion, honestly. Man. So you have no reason to watch. Can you even watch them anymore? Yeah, it's they stream it online. Okay. So, um, Carrie says favorite world in Mario Odyssey and why? We'll go to Terrence first <laughs> for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that world where you were running around in a in a in a frog suit. That was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what is you said any other suit like you could have pulled that shit off, but <laughs> there is no frog suit. There are frogs you can possess. <clears throat> That's it's really kind of creepy, man. Like Mario has possession powers in this game. Okay. Yeah, like you, you can fucking take over your body just by doing an odd job and throwing his hat at you. <laughs> um, I, I finished the uh, main campaign oh you did so yes. you so you got to the surprise yes area. and i was i was pleasantly surprised by that i was pleasantly surprised and the little outfit the uh the outfit that you can uh buy have you earned any moons in that area yet uh yes okay so you also got to see that part of it as yes well. so uh that's a god damn it i like that i love that game man that game is that game is fun um favorite world though um <clears throat> I, I I really like Bowser's castle because I like the I like possessing the uh those pokey birds, mm-hmm. little Pinocchio birds. Um because I like climbing around the different areas and I think they're actually called Pokeos, so you're Pokeos. Yeah. 
I like that level. Um, I like all of them except the um, except the ice level and um, the f- to a lesser extent the food level. Oh, you don't like the food level? I like I like the food level actually. It's not my favorite, but I like it a lot. Yeah, it's it's not my it's not my favorite. It's 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 better of the ones that I don't like, but uh, it's not my it's not my favorite. Okay, I'm uh I think I like the Woodland Kingdom the best because uh New Dog City can fuck itself. Woodland Kingdom has hands down the best song in that game, and it's not even up for debate. <laughs> it's not even up for debate. It looks it looks like they took like a fucking it, it, it like they consulted Quentin Tarantino for the soundtrack for that stage. <laughs> it's excellent. Um, so that's probably my favorite world. Uh, I am also partial to the spoiler world, which I won't uh, which I won't spoil. Yes, um, for anyone. Uh, but yeah, Mario Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey is better than Zelda. Sorry, I y'all. Think so. It's I a better think- game. I mean, look, I've put more time into Mario Galaxy than I have Zelda. Uh, I have not, but I would still say the Mario Odyssey is is better, objective or subject. Well, it's truly subjectively, but yeah, I think that should be if if, if a Nintendo game is going to get Game of the Year, which I don't know that it should, then it should be Mario Odyssey. <laughs> hmm. I have to start thinking about that now. Christ. Um, Chris says DLC and microtransactions. Does this affect what games you guys buy? Do you feel like companies are getting a bit too crazy and out of hand with it? Um, I don't know about y'all. Microtransactions don't affect me at all when making a purchase decision. What was the last game I played that had microtransactions in them? I don't know. What Marvel? Yeah, I guess Marvel I would technically Marvel. count. Yeah. Because they have like this, they have the uh, the well, the character packs, but also they have like the the different the outfits, costumes now. the costumes. Yeah, some of those costumes look kind of cool. I kind of want that fucking mafioso Hulk costume, but I'm not not paying uh, two dollars for that shit. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, Joe yeah. fix it. Yeah, that looks cool, but yeah, I think no. What was the last micro game you played that you bought microtransactions for? Never. Really? You never bought no. a microtransaction ever? No. Hmm. Wow. I'm I'm cheap. Yeah, <laughs> like no, <laughs> wait, no, 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 wait, no. They gave me free silver for Destiny, right? And I was wait, the only but silver. You but you bought. didn't buy that. No, they gave me free silver, and um, I used it to get the Michael Jackson, um, dance, the Thriller dance. Yeah, the Thriller dance. That's it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I ever bought anything. No. Um, did I ever do anything for um? trying to think did i get anything for uh overwatch nope nah never bought i don't think i've ever used i'm not i don't think i don't remember ever buying anything a microtransaction the um the only time i think it gets out of hand is if you're buying loot boxes if you're buying a a, a, a random chance that yeah. that's kind of a that's kind of a dick move like that's, that's why i don't think to, it's one thing to just get them but if you're buying one, I mean, if look, if you are buying a, a a loot box, like shame on you, you deserve to lose that money. <laughs> but um, I, I I don't know. It's as long as it's not intrusive. Like as long as you're not at the at the menu screen. Like in Assassin's Creed, they have and they have different options, right? Continue your game slash new game. Store. And the Uplay app or whatever. That's intrusive to me. I don't want to, I, I don't, and, and when you pause the game, there's a little icon for store in the corner of it. That's intrusive to me. I don't, I, I don't need to be reminded that there's a store right there. Like at least with Destiny, like it's not right in your face. You got to go to the store, right? <laughs> you have to walk your ass to the store. <laughs> Whereas, now, now one, now one would, <laughs> someone would argue that, the fact that they feed you bright engrams and force you to go to that store to redeem them forces it in your face. I guess, yeah, I guess so. Look, they're, at least they're a little more clever and insidious with it. But at the same time, like I just don't, I have no problem with microtransactions because I, I have enough willpower to not buy them if I don't want them. Um, because when I buy one and I don't get what I want, I say, fuck that. <laughs> and I never buy them again. Now DLC, on the other hand, I've bought. DLC. Oh, DLC is different. 
what are you gonna do you know <laughs> but microtransactions and absolutely not no yeah that's the only time i think it gets out of hand dlc i mean dlc is dlc uh you know i mean it's it, like dlc is out of hand to the point where pretty much every game that comes out now has it mm-hmm. like there are like, like i as much as i don't mind extra content for games being you know pay for there aren't a lot gay there there are not enough games coming out of the mainstream where it's just this is the game and and this is what it is and there's a reason for that is because in order to and and, and again people people fight this point but there is some validity to it the fact that if you want to keep games at 60 dollars, but you want to raise development costs there's a gap there that you have to fill with cash and yes companies are still profiting hand over fist with you know with the stuff and that's not going to change but the difference is either have companies profit and continue to get the games that you want or you just don't get the games that you want because if companies can't make a ton of money they're going to do something else that does so it's kind of like it is out of hand but at the same time it's kind of it it is somewhat of a necessary device in 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 modern gaming yeah so Mm. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is. And like I said, that's, it's either that or games might end up costing 90 to $100. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be the end of gaming for me. But, it, but, if, but, if, but let's say a game costs, let's say Marvel vs. Capcom costs 90 bucks, but you get everything that will ever exist for Marvel vs. Capcom, including extra characters down the road. Would you not is do that? That, that lump sum. No, it's a hard. <laughs> like, that's the hurdle. Okay, it's, the, it's that lump fucking sum of a hundred bucks. Damn right, man. but that's and but that's. I mean, like, that's end up paying for that's you essentially end up paying what you end, But I, yeah, I know, but like, it's I perception, know. dog. It's different. <laughs> like, trust it, me. It, trust it's me. Different. I know. No, but Ter- but Ter- but like Terrence, your reaction is why games cost sixty dollars because yeah. you're not the only person that exactly. would say, like, "Hey, wait a second, mm, that should be a hundred bucks." Fuck you, and then like. Eventually, you're going to end up paying 150 bucks for it when all is said and done. Anyway, so it, it is what it is. But like, yeah, if it was 100 dollars straight off the break for every game, yeah, I just throw my system out the window. <laughs> like, I, just, I just would. It's just ridiculous. It's stupid to think like that, but I, it's the truth, man. I'd be like, I don't need this anymore. Too cheap. <laughs> so Johnny says, uh, after everything we learned from this year with Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Tekken's guest DLC fighters and Injustice 2 Injustice 2's fighter pack announcements that got people in a frenzy. Can we now make the argument that the most important aspect of a fighting game is its roster? No, I don't think so. Because I can't. I still hate the roster for Infinite. It's still garbage, but I play it because eventually I found someone and like, is my teams aren't broken, so I don't win (laughs) ever. Um. But like you'll you'll eventually find someone, but no, I don't think the roster is the most important. Like the gameplay is the most important factor in a, in a fighting game, um, which is why I didn't really like Tekken. Uh, I mean, I didn't I didn't like Dragon Ball's fighters. I didn't like the gameplay because I I didn't like the uh, the the instant combos or the easy combos. You couldn't. Well, in the beta, I don't think you can get rid of them. I'm sure you can once the game comes out, but like that just turned me off completely. You know that game has uh it's on the PlayStation store and they have an option for for like a hundred and ten dollars or some shit like that. That what does that give you all of the unlocker on the other characters yeah. that are coming out? Yeah, it gives you all that all that nonsense. Hundred and ten? Like what the fuck? It's just weird to it's me. It's a weird yeah. Mike is 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 the fighting roster the most important part of a fighting game now? No, I don't. I don't think so. Um, it's it's nice, but you know, by that token, you would never play a new fighting game because you don't know who's in it. Right. You know I mean? So, me, this is this is what Johnny and I were talking about um, yesterday and today. Um, I actually hedged a little bit. I think it depends on the fighting game. I think for hardcore fighting games, the roster is not as important but i think it's extremely important for fighting games with a much broader appeal and that's why people freak the fuck out over injustice 2 <laughs> Mortal Kombat, 
Um, and 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 Johnny brought up Smash Brothers as a great example as well. People are always watching with bated breath to see what guest characters are coming to Smash Brothers, but that's because Smash Brothers is played by hardcore and a wide range of non-hardcores alike. So for them, yeah, the roster absolutely matters because that's for a lot of people that's what's getting them into the game and getting them excited about the game. But you guys are right for like your Street Fighters, for your Tekkens, um, not as important because the because that the the gameplay is at its core for stuff like that. Yeah. So, but I think I think the the moral of this story is that Injustice Two, filthy casual fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we got the turtles in it. <laughs> and and look and look they they like they fucking said with like with Mortal Kombat the 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 add on packs that sold the most were the ones that had the horror icons in it. And likewise for Injustice One, Scorpion was the most popular downloadable character that they had. Ugh. People like guest <laughs> characters. They do. Couldn't stand his fucking ass. Uh, Carrie says they've already done switch ports to some of the bigger Wii U games. I know we're not a huge fan of lazy ports here on the show. We are not. Um, but what Wii U exclusive game would you want to see on the Switch? Uh, see, she suggests uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, <laughs> Tokyo Mirage Sessions is some Japanese. No, I mean game. this is this question poses the fact that we have Wii U's. Yo, I've never like experienced a Wii U. <laughs> right, but that's so that's so that is my point. Wait. I I too hate lazy ports. However. Since nobody played any of the good games that came out on Wii U, and I mean nobody, port them all. <laughs> want, like I said, I'd love to play Mario 3D World. I'd That's love to play funny. Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Port every one of them. Add some new features. Make it a deluxe game. Do whatever you want. Somebody should play those games that designers work so hard on <laughs> instead of just letting them languish on what is probably the most failed console in the history of game consoles. I mean, they already ported the best Wii U game. It's called The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, can, you can keep Star Fox Zero because that game fucking sucks. Um, Super Mario Maker? Yeah, I'll take a Super Mario Maker. Bring it on over. New Super Mario Brothers U? Absolutely. I like a 2D Mario game. I don't game. even know what that is. This, this, this question is not really for you, Terrence. Yeah, it's okay. No, no, not at all. But yes. <laughs> so like I said, my official stance, port them all, um, bury all Wii U's in a landfill, and can we officially nominate the Wii U as the most failed console of all time? Yes. Yes. And yes. Excellent. <laughs> it, is, it has been so ordered uh, Warren says in regards to Street Fighter 5 in which people complain about getting brand new characters what do you think is more important when adding new characters to fighting games adding characters that can be brought back in future iterations uh, characters that will more likely only be on one version of the game or old characters that were in previous versions so, do you, so basically do new characters need to have staying powers so that they appear in the series over and over and over again um, I mean, that all depends on like, I'll, I'll never, I'll never fault anybody for trying to introduce new characters, right? Like, because you don't know what's going to hit unless you try something new. Quite frankly, I was shocked that Crimson Viper wasn't in, uh, in Street Fighter five. Yeah, that's because true. She, she was, was she was the most popular, popular character. character from, uh, from the, from the new ones from four for sure. Yeah. Right. So I, I, I have no problem with them uh trying new things because you don't know what's going to stick and if you know if you don't if that character doesn't make it i mean nowadays you still got your old game you can you can go back and like i go back once every once in a while just to pop in street fighter 4 just to fuck around with it um you know what the most curious case of this is probably street fighter 3 is a game that's beloved, mm. but very few of those characters. Well, I guess now, I guess they oh, ended yeah, up well, making well, it. Well, Elena and I mean, the popular characters made it. The popular well, characters made Yurian it. In five. In, yeah, Yurian is in five. Elena that's was true. in four. What? Who else? Matter of fact, but it, but it, but it took four to get there. It yeah. did. It, it it did, but 
I think the I think the ones that I think the ones that click with people, like you can you gotta. It took them fifteen years to get there, but that's also because it took forever for Street Fighter Four to come out after Street Fighter Three. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, uh, and and damn near half of the new characters in that roster. Like everyone loves Street Fighter Three. Originally, they were it was going to be all new characters. And then people got up in arms, was like, you can't have a Street Fighter game without Ryu and Ken. It's like, all right, all right, all right. We'll put, <laughs> we'll put the we'll put this one guy in twice to make you happy. But I I admire and people love that game. People love Yoon and Yang and, and Dudley and Elena. And matter of fact, people love everybody except that old man. And 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 um uh, and twelve. Like people love Q. Quite frankly, I'm shocked Q isn't here. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if you see Q come back in Street Fighter Five. <laughs> It'll be Sagat, Sakura, Q, and um, maybe three new characters. I don't play Street Fighter Five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I in, in any fighting uh, game. Oh right? uh, well, fighting game you do play. What fighting game do I play? I don't know. I don't play a lot of. What about the smart. killer? What about Killer Instinct? You like Killer Instinct? You've played Killer, but Instinct. I didn't play like the original ones like that, so I didn't give a fuck who the hell. Okay. I didn't know who the hell was in Killer Instinct two. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Kill Gore, what? Fine. Is he even in the game? I don't. I don't know. They gave me him for free somehow. I don't. I didn't pay for him, but he was free. So yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't give a fuck about Street Fighter. Um, I'm still a little salty that there's a bunch of people missing from in, uh, from Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. <clears throat> Don't care about Tekken. Uh, Injustice is whatever. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really uh, get attached to fighting game characters because I don't fucking care. It is uh okay, fighting game is your favorite genre, and you just don't have a favorite fighting game. Not really. <laughs> By the way, like, speaking of. Money, Virtual Fighter, yeah, <laughs> that's fun. But those characters have always been in all of them. So I'm gonna say those characters don't seem like they just seem like vessels for delivering gameplay. They don't see. I don't like do those characters <laughs> have a personality. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they really don't. <laughs> they really don't. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought up Marvel because something else that Johnny and I talked about is how people are yelling at at you know nrs and capcom and, and about the roster right and especially at capcom for the roster like people were pissed about the fact that there were no x-men characters even though capcom probably had nothing to do with that actual decision to have no x-men characters in that game yet nobody criticizes the company that probably is the reason because that company for some reason doesn't get criticism for anything in this day and wow. age Disney, Marvel, no, Mar well, the Marvel, basically. Oh, well, why is that, Micah? <laughs> there are a couple of uh, there are a couple of outliers out there, a couple of Brads out there who just want to be contrarian and <laughs> suck, the, <laughs> suck the fun out of movies. There are a couple of you out there. Um, you know why people don't complain about it? Because they pump out something that everybody likes, and they just associate one thing with the rest of them. But yeah, meanwhile, 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 poor, meanwhile, poor Capcom forced to forced to shove, like take all the shit that should be that should, that's being flung at Marvel and missing and landing right on their face, basically. Uh, it's, yeah, the, poor it's the same. It's the same thing in reverse regarding Capcom. They have a track record of fucking people over. Yeah, it's real it's Capcom's fault. It's real easy to fling that shit at them when uh, when you have a tendency to uh, uh, screw people out of out of. Uh, uh, out of money and and release the same game every every two years the one thing i will say about marvel versus capcom and infinite in the roster and the game itself is it better do what killer instinct did because the game as it is now is very fun very solid mechanics but it's trash <laughs> like it's it, it, it is like it's broken there are there's a there are giant leaps in how good certain characters are compared to other characters i mean doesn't that isn't that tradition it's tradition but like it it, it got to a point where you could be 
like Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <clears throat> the game <laughs> is as ridiculous as it was. Like X Factor kind of even the playing field. The 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 stones in that game. No, they don't even shit. Like there's like three good stones and the rest of them are trash. You might as well throw them in the garbage. Like those eggs you got for your for your um your limited edition thing. The characters themselves, like they added uh what's his name? That stupid ass ex villain character. I don't even know what his name is. I forgot. He's he's broken. He just is. Um, um Sigma. Sigma. He's fucking broken. Like he is. Like he can ca- <sighs> fuck him. Meanwhile, Black Panther is garbage. Like that's some racist ass shit. I'm offended by that. Like ba- Black Panther is one of the worst characters in the game. Like he doesn't have any con- he doesn't have any moves that has any armor. Like he's fast, but like it it he, he's he's garbage. He just is. <laughs> so they need to balance that game, or else you're just gonna see the same like four teams over and over in every tournament, and it's gonna get like boring. I mean, that's that's what Grant. that's what that's what a meta is. <laughs> I mean, Grant, is, is, like, so. that's kind of how it happened in Marvel vs. Capcom three. But eventually, you started seeing different teams that you're like, oh shit, that's kind of cool. But yeah, it, it it needs a lot of work and graphical upgrades too. Like they should they should patch that shit to the point where it needs to be like. A hundred gigs by the time it's all said, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm um, just, just, just throw just throw an HDR thing on yeah. there just to make your shitty characters just look, look different colors, but still shitty. <laughs> um, Cam says my bet my best friend Cam says Randy came Randy Orton came for Brad on Twitter and it ended poorly for Randy Orton. Discuss. Did that you guys see this? Funny. I did. It was, <laughs> it was really funny actually. I didn't. I saw it. I didn't. I didn't know what was happening. So Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn both got sent home for an unknown reason um, from the European SmackDown tour late on. And what happened? Kevin Owens said something about something and Randy Orton responded and Kevin Owens Kevin Owens comeback to Randy Orton's comeback completely out of left field was you vape which is a great comeback because anyone who vapes and I mean anyone <laughs> should be looked down upon <laughs> <laughs> as a drag of society whether they're in this podcast network or not <laughs> um, and uh and 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 uh randy orton came back and said oh i like i quit vaping on the tour you would know that if you didn't get sent home which is a pretty good dig which is a pretty good dig but what he forgot is that kevin owens is the king of twitter and said oh man he's like for a second there i thought you said that you quit the company i got so excited <laughs> <laughs> and randy orton did not have a response to that uh as as the saying goes if you come at the king you best not miss and randy orton stumbled and so kevin owens took advantage great guy at kevin owens uh cam also says asks me am i ready for a trip to houston this weekend to totally support team smackdown and not in any way sabotage that dastardly shane mcmahon yes houston will be great so you get to go down there with my good bud Cam. Uh, Shane McMahon is a dastard. He is a dastard. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, like I said, I, that's that that's what I'm looking forward to out of the uh, Survivor Series match is to see uh, how myself and Cam get involved in that uh, in that un, in that travesty of a team that is on the SmackDown roster. Because how either one of us is not on it, I have no idea. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Uh, Jason says Overwatch is on sale for thirty dollars. Should I finally get this game, or is there a part two on the horizon? Get it now. Uh, Overwatch two is some years away, based on Blizzard's mo. And yeah, how they, they just operate. released a new character, or they're going to release a new character. There ain't no tech, ain't no sequel coming anytime soon. It'll <clears throat> come back in like seven years. Right, like when you when you when you buy like like Blizzard is one of the companies out there. When you buy a Blizzard game, you are getting a game that's going to be supported for five years, probably for free. By the way, yeah, because all the characters they're free. I mean, Diablo uh, three boxes. Case in point, Diablo three still gets free updates all the time. Um, Malcolm said, "I think we can all agree that Ed Boon needs his ass kicked." <laughs> Do we all agree on that? I like Ed Boon. He's, um, he's mad. Where the hell is static? Also, how about that DBZ exhibition? I think I think I think criticizing why static couldn't make it into the game is a fair critique. 
it it very much is uh because there was concept art of him and there's a character that uses electricity powers but um, they they made him whatever that nigga in the new show about to be what's his name <laughs> uh he's a black guy that shoots a lightning guess yeah, black light <laughs> right black lightning i'm like wow okay that's something and then Malcolm also says um, the Street Fighter Five and DBZ roster leaks. Did you guys see that? I didn't see that. Um, no, I, I saw something earlier, but I the the characters were so far out and far fetched that I I didn't pay any mind to it. Like, yeah. and I'm sitting here trying to find it now, and I can't I can't even find it. Um, I know that there's been leaks about costumes, new costumes coming. Mm -hmm. Um. And leaks about stages being, uh, you know, stages being modified, but um, yeah, I can't, I can't remember, I can't remember what the, what the leaks were. Uh, I'm kind of tired of leaks. Um, I kind of want to like this whole Ninja Turtle thing, like really got me jazzed about being surprised for stuff like this. Um, it really happens. <laughs> right, like Never especially, oh, especially shit. in this day and age, like good lord. But uh, so yeah, I'll have to, I have to see if I can, I have to see if I can find uh, what those leaks were. I'm usually up on it, so I can't, but I can't find it. Okay. Um, Cam comes back. He says, uh, "Star Wars Battlefront Two was going to be a day one purchase for me until all of this multiplayer fuckery was unveiled." Do you think studios will stop multiplayer betas to hide their shenanigans, or just stop doing shenanigans? Well, they're not going to stop doing shenanigans. <laughs> Um, and unfortunately as much like, like if you give a studio an option to not do a beta for a game, they would take it in a heartbeat, but it's kind of a necessary evil because there's no other way that you can stress test your servers to get them ready for launch day without doing a public beta. And even after they do the public beta, they still fuck up. Right. <laughs> right. A stress test isn't enough. Cause it's Ima yeah. Imagine how bad it would be if you didn't have the initial, right. uh, the initial testing. Just, just realize you're going to have a lot of fucking people playing your game and like set it up accordingly. Like you've been doing multiplayer for years. The fuck is the difference? But because be, the, well, the reason why, and I, I mean, I can answer this question is because when you, um, it, you, you test you, like you, you prepare the servers for your like peak times, but you 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 can still never prepare them for the amount of traffic that you're going to get on that opening weekend, Be and you don't and you shouldn't because that's never you're never going to see those numbers past that initial weekend, if that makes sense. It makes sense, but still, like what the fuck, man. Again, they still all fucked up when I'm like, so just uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what's what's you know what's fucked EA worse than anything in 2017 because because this gets lost in 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 everything else that's happened this year between loot box bonanza and the fact that we've had a million great games. EA needs to stop doing early access for their games yeah. on Xbox. EA just needs to stop making games. As far as <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, man, seriously, like go through EA's like catalog of games aside from FIFA bread. What, what are you playing? FIFA, uh, uh, EA related. Oh, um, not, not playing Madden, not playing live, not playing SSX. Cause that's not available. Uh, do you play Battlefield? No, I don't uh, even play Battlefield. Dude. And then everything else is uh, Mass Effect, uh, Dragon Age, and uh, what else? Uh, and whatever Star Wars game there is this uh, this quarter. I mean, there, so there's a few indie games they come out with um, that are sometimes good. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll give you that. They're not money makers. They're not. They're no, not they start, company of oh, which means they're probably not going to be making them for long. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, FIFA is really fun, though. <laughs> I mean, look, it's it's the most popular sport in the world, so I'm not knocking them for it. But like, what else are they doing? Like, what else making are they that money? I, like, I, I I really do almost feel like that EA and and they're not. They're, they haven't announced this, and and this is a long play. I wonder if they're actually consolidating a little bit, like coming like 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 taking the take two approach, where you come out with less games, but all those games make a shit ton of money. 
I mean, they might as well just be the sports game publisher now, mm-hmm. as far as I'm concerned. That's where the money is. That's apparently where they do the best. Like, just be, just make FIFA. Just bring FIFA out every. Just make soccer games. Like, there's a bunch of different like tournaments or whatever. Just make just make different tournaments. So, soccer games theme from different tournaments. No, don't do that. Christ, <laughs> the last thing we fucking need is to break up to break up FIFA into three separate games. The fuck out of here. Then I would truly be done with EA if that was the case. Like they they took FIFA and they had like, well, here's FIFA Ultimate Team and here's FIFA Career and here's FIFA Exhibition Mode. Like I'd be like, all right, fuck, get out of my face. You're done. <laughs> so I uh, going back to Malcolm. I found the leaks. Uh, mm-hmm. They are for Marvel versus Capcom Infinite, Street Fighter Five, and Dragon Ball. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Terrence. Mm-hmm. Um, the leaks are supposedly meant they supposedly mention Star Lord, Ms. Marvel, Green Goblin, Wolverine. Oh, she was already in there. Um, that's okay. What the fuck is Ms. Marvel? What the fuck is that? Well, I thought Captain Marvel, Captain, Captain Marvel used to be Ms. Marvel and her DLC outfit. That's her Ms. Marvel persona. Yeah. Oh, but there's also another Ms. Marvel who is um, a Muslim girl from New Jersey that has like stretchy powers. Okay. So that's probably who they're talking about. Green Goblin, Wolverine, Cyclops, Psylocke, Magneto, Storm, Deadpool, X-Men? Dr. Doom, Daredevil. Yeah, Oscar. that's a, that, like you've completely I know. <laughs> ruined this leak by. By putting in uh, six X Men characters, right? There's no, there's no way that's going to happen. Uh, Unless Fox is bought by uh, Disney, you never know. But well, anyway, yeah. um, Daredevil, Asura, Lady, Kill, cool. Rashid, oh, Lady. Oh, Lady from Devil May Cry. From Devil May Cry. No. <laughs> Rashid, Captain Commando. Rashid from like you've already like what the, like you just named like <laughs> twenty five the characters. <laughs> There's no I way this is supporting this game for four years. Get the fuck out of here! Right? There's no way this isn't bullshit. Like, like, some, like just... someone just literally like cherry picked names of characters from <laughs> Marvel and Capcom properties. Like, I found a leak, guys. I did some data mining, and look what I found. Shut up. Um, uh, Gene. I don't know who that is. Virgil, Akuma, and Apollo Justice. Virgil. Oh, like this yeah, is why I didn't put well from. Uh, I'd, now, I'd, I'd, I'd be interested if it was now. Virgil, like Ted DiBiase, Virgil. That that would, <laughs> that would be interest. That would pique my interest in oh, Marvel's oh, Capcom. God. Um, Virgil and Lady, like what? They also they don't have guns. Oh, Virgil don't have a gun. They also mentioned an upgrade to the graphics and the UI and four player two v two mode, in addition to Ultron Sigma being a playable solo character. Shut up, yo! I'm, now, I'm, 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 I'm moving on. From this. <laughs> the upgraded UI, I could easily see that because the UI is is ugly as fuck. And they I'm will bad. because they did the same thing with Street Fighter Five, yeah, or they're, they're doing they, the same they, thing with Street Fighter Five. Do so. that. Plus, you got these fucking powerful systems like the one H, the whatever upgrade for. Um, this this up, this fun. update is literally like the, the the equivalent of the of the guy just guesses everything. So that way, when Inevitably, a few of those characters. <laughs> like, so you you guess every character, like, yeah, I was right, guys. I told you. Shut up. For uh, Street Fighter Five, Sagat, Sakura, Cody. Like, um, I don't even want to hear this at this point because, like I said, <laughs> it's, it's just literally this guy just naming characters, and that way he can be like, well, you know, when you're right forty eight percent of the time, you're wrong fifty two percent of the time. In addition to these, there's also <laughs> word of Crimson Viper Q Necro or like being added as free Shut character. Up. This is why I didn't pay too much attention to this. Because, like you said, it's just like, uh, who else is n- who else hasn't been in a Street Fighter <laughs> game in a while? Oro, the old man. Yep, there you go. That's he's one of them. And then yeah. Dragon Ball. I mean, these are just random ass names, as far as I'm concerned. Broly, <laughs> <laughs> base form Goku, isn't like that yo, Goku's father or some shit like that. I don't. Know. I, have, I have no idea. Base- I mean, yes, who, who else? Who else is on the Dragon Ball list? Naruto, Akira, <laughs> like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> one piece. No, no. <laughs> one piece. That's a guy, right? That's one right. piece. That's his name. I assume. I assume that all anime characters are named after their show that they're on. Like, I, uh, I don't know enough Dragon Ball Z characters. To be <laughs> honest with you, Michael says, uh, "Whose offices should be burned down first? EA or Activision? EA, obviously EA. Like yeah. I said, Ac- Activision. They they don't they don't fuck around with who they are. They just they are who they are." 
Uh, Gustavo says, how surprised am I that Italy did not qualify for the World Cup? Yeah, for those that did not see, Italy got knocked out of World Cup qualification today by Sweden. Um, I am less surprised about Italy than I am about the United States because Italy, their last two World Cup performances had them going out in the group stage each year. And for a football power uh, that Italy is, that's not a good sign. Um, so I'm not too shocked that they didn't make it this time around because that program seems to be seems to need to be shaken up a little bit. Um, Trey says street profits on their way to greatness or Triple H's failed way of showing he is not a racist. Um, <laughs> I don't watch I don't NXT weekly, is. so I don't. I've never seen this tag team before. They they are a tag team of black dudes, so you know what that means. They're no, shucking and shucking and jiving. Um, I'm looking oh, at this guy. GIF. This guy is shucking oh. and jiving. <laughs> okay, if he, and he's got a cup in his hand. You know what's really like fucked up is that these two dudes, pardon my language, are just a couple of niggas, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the Usos, who have seen their greatest performances and their greatest run in their career in the WWE and their yeah. gimmick. It's just two niggas. A couple of niggas. <laughs> I mean, street, street profits has to be a less offensive to, gimmick than crime time, right? I'm going to have to, I don't, I don't know. I can't really tell looking at this gift. I really can't. I have not seen them wrestle. I, I, Yo, this is pissing me off. <laughs> like it really is. Like they might be really good wrestlers. I don't know. But like this nigga got a, a black cup. What I'm assuming has some type of alcohol mixed with some type of cough syrup in it. Um, like okay. I just like like sometimes I think Malcolm. Profit. Sometimes I think Malcolm takes like like the whole blackness thing a little too seriously. But then I see shit like this, and I'm like, yo, I'm right there with you, bro. Like, <laughs> God damn it. Why can't we just have a black dude? Why can't we just have a two-named black dude? Why why they gotta be street profits dollar sign? I, <laughs> nice I, to see that when Vince McMahon passes away, the tradition of not knowing what to do with black wrestlers will continue on. <laughs> 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 Oh man. oh, man. Uh, Don't Michael says, are you guys planning on scooping up any games on Black Friday? If so, what? Um, I need to wait to see what PlayStation's big Black Friday sale is going to be before I can make that determination. Yeah, yeah. And, um, because I think I have everything that I want. Um, I would, like, I, does, does Microsoft even have, like, a Black Friday sale? I'm sure, I'm they, sure do. they do. Yeah. What, what, what is on it? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Uh, ninety percent of the games will be the same as on the PlayStation sale because they'll be third party and they'll have the same discounts. And then uh, Microsoft will be like, "Please buy our expansive first party catalog lineup of games," <laughs> and people will look for that lineup. We're like, what is it? And <laughs> they won't know what it is. They uh, won't be able to find it. Gears of War Four, Halo Wars. Hey, buy Gears of War Four for four ninety nine, but I've already bought Halo it. Five, but you get that with the free Game Pass. Right, <laughs> but I've already bought that too. Yeah, like how about it, some Quantum Break, guys, for ten dollars? Yeah. It's only one hundred and sixty gigabyte download <laughs> on your Xbox One X. <laughs> if you got the Xbox One X, is it's Xbox One X enhanced to make it look better? And that's same shitty game. That's one hundred and sixty some odd gigs for for Xbox One. Without the television stuff thrown in there, <laughs> like it, I, I have it sitting on my hard drive now for some stupid reason. I downloaded all the TV shows, and yeah, it's like eighty gigs, mm. like 80, 90 gigs. For that. I mean, I'll, I'll probably pick up season two of Batman Telltale because that's. I remember I picked up season one in the Black Friday sale last year and got it for like dirt cheap. So you're gonna, you should get the, you should get season two of Street Fighter. Uh, you like know what? If it, if if it's on sale, I will buy both seasons of Street Fighter. How about that? Oh, damn! That? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I, I actually meant to buy season one. They had it on sale for ten bucks a couple weeks ago, but I missed it by a day. So I was like, ah. Oh. But but now I can't pay more than ten dollars for it. Like my <laughs> mind, my mind will not allow me to do it. Um, 
Michael also says, Brad, if I bite somebody, does that person become Guy Fieri? Um, I don't generally go around biting people. It's not usually That's fucking weird. Yeah. And and I don't think Guy Fieri is like a werewolf. We don't so, know that. Well, we don't know that. That's a fair point. Um, Mark says, given that Nathan Drake is basically a male Lara Croft, which is a female version of, he says, Indian Jones. I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> And assume that he's a Indiana Jones, <laughs> and let and let's throw in Benjamin Franklin Gates in there. Who would wow. win in a death match between the four? Uh, they are allowed to use their standard weapons such as firearms and whips, but let's also throw in some of the artifacts that they've been known to hunt for as well to be used as weapons. Well, um, Laura uses double pistols. Yeah, but Nathan Drake is a mass murderer that uses like assault rifles and shit like that like i'd have to imagine that unless indiana jones is bringing along the ark of the covenant with him that he's probably that nathan drake probably is it has the advantage um but he let us has not to find guns right she's got her own sorry <laughs> <laughs> let us not discount the no shut up <laughs> <laughs> He already lost. I ain't never seen him with a weapon in any of those goddamn movies. Uh, his weapon is his mind. Okay. he's there. The others are just <laughs> as smart as he is. But here's the thing. Mm. Benjamin Franklin Gates. <laughs> How did I know that you would be sticking up for him in this guy? I have to. I have to. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin Gates is an actual human. So you can eliminate half of the competition by unplugging the game system. <laughs> and if Benjamin Franklin Gates, who lives in contemporary America, were to fight Indian or Indiana Jones, <laughs> Indian Jones doesn't exist because America has wiped out the Native American population. And Indiana Jones has been dead a long time. Benjamin Franklin Gates is your winner. I Can't feel like your logic Gage? is flawed here. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's Nathan Drake unless Indiana Jones is packing the Ark of the Covenant and opens it and does not look at it. And then you hate going, Laura. Why do you hate women, Brad? Why, why? All, she, all she carries is two pistols. What the fuck yeah. else is she going to do? She's like she's like Hitman. <laughs> she, yeah, she, she, all she carries is two pistols, but... And she's like, also a great archer, and she can, and she can use fire. She can use uh, assault rifles as well. And she's hard. She she's a diehard. Yeah, she's fucking Joanne McLean. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like she's been through a lot of shit. Fucking like Jane McLean. First thing you do <laughs> is set Jane McLean on fire and impale her, <laughs> and then she just walks away from it. Yeah, I got I got Laura. Just because she's, she's I, I, I just don't know what Benjamin Franklin Gates is even doing in this conversation. Yeah, he, he, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> he, he's the he, he's not the guy. He's not the guy you hire for a death match. He's the guy you hire when you need to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> Those movies so goddamn dumb. I love him. Though. I love him. I can't help it. Oh man, I can't help it. Uh, Gaston says he has three here. Um, how about a two sentence review from the hosts for the last game that they beat? Um, that's game I beat. Jesus Christ! I'm about to finish Assassin's Creed, and uh, I really like that game. Uh, I like it a lot. Like I said, I don't know if I like it because it stars a black person who is voiced by a black person, because that's a thing. Like we have to acknowledge that. And um, or I don't like it if I don't know if I like it because I hadn't played an Assassin's Creed in a while. But like this is my kind of game, right? It's an open world like game where I can just do whatever I want and have fun. Um also I I did finish Mario Galaxy, the you know, the story or whatever of such as it is. And um two sentence review. Uh I like it a lot. It's really good. <laughs> That's why I don't write reviews, guys. Uh, mine is, I love the action platforming and more stereotypes than you see in even a Mario game, typically. <laughs> thanks to all his outfits. <laughs> I don't remember the last game I completed. I don't have a clue when the last game I actually finished. I mean, Marvel's Capcom, you beat the arcade, the, the story mode in it, I would assume. Marvel's no. Capcom, what? Infinite. No. No? no, he didn't play this. No, oh, shit. Like, I played okay. 20 minutes of this. I, yo, it, 
you buy it and you try to finish that stupid ass. It's so I wanted to bad. blow my fucking brain. Out. <laughs> <laughs> story mode. It's horrible. Now, like I, the, now that I'm now that like I'm thinking about voice Mario. acting is terrible. The no, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I can do it. Like physically, it makes me ill. I'm actually shocked now that Mario didn't get a lot of verbal backlash from all these social justice warriors on the internet, considering the sheer amount of cultural appropriation that exists in that game. <laughs> No, you know why? Because the big one, the one that everybody wants, right, is Mario as a samurai. And all the people on the internet love fucking Japanese shit. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Anybody that's playing a video game that would uh, that might be offended by that, they love Japanese shit. So, yeah, they see, they see myself included. I love Japanese shit. So they see Mario in a, in a samurai outfit. And they're like, yo, this is awesome. And then they start speaking broken Japanese. He asked for uh, guests and also asked for Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey updates. I think we already addressed that as well. Um, but he, lastly, he says he's getting a PS4 soon. He's already getting Monster Hunter World for it. Do you have any recommendations as far as what he has to get? What does he has to get or have to get rather? Um, if you like action adventure games, get uh, all of the Uncharted. And Horizon, all, all four of them, and uh, Horizon. I would get Horizon. Uh, if, if, over Horizon Far Cry. Is, if Horizon is black on uh, on sale Black Friday, I'll pick that up because uh, I have wanted to play that. But there uh, you go. Just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, yeah, I, I would say I would agree with Micah. The Uncharted games and Horizon are your musts. Um, Last of Us, go for it if you think you might like it. I don't think that's a must buy personally. Um, no, no, don't get it. Get Uncharted. You, you know what The Last of Us is? The Last of Us is slow-paced Uncharted. Hmm. You don't have to get that. But um, that'll keep you busy for a while. That'll keep you busy for a good... And get Nick Smokina, God damn it. Going back to last week. Nah, don't bother. <laughs> you're, not, you're not paying $400 for the system to play some, some arcade game. Arcade's dead. <laughs> Actually, how much is that? How much is Nick Smokina? Nick Smokina, I think it's like 15 right now. I think it's like It 20. looks fun. It is fun. Oh, exactly. That's the problem. It'll be on sale Black Friday, I bet. There you go. Keep an eye out for that one as well, Terrence. Oh, if you like role-playing games, get Persona 5. It's a really good game. Yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, Will says, is the Nintendo Switch worth a purchase this holiday season? Yes. Yes, it is. Now it is. Yeah. Just for, just for Mario. Uh, Dustin, I find myself playing more older games these days. New games just seem too long to download and are too handholdy. Um, plus, today there are less and less single player games that I'm interested in. I love single player shooters, but they are non existent. Even in the indie games, stay away from the old kind of budget shooters. Am I alone in this? When I'm playing, where I'm playing older games, I miss the first time instead of the new games. No, um, I feel like there are a lot of people that do this as well um not us because and, and when i say us i'm really talking about me and micah because we have this compulsion to keep up with the new hotness yeah. all the time yeah uh, the only time i play an old game is if it's on like a like a a phone <laughs> you know what i mean like i won't necessarily seek out to buy it just because i grew up with those games and i don't know how old you are dustin but um i'm an old fucking man and, <laughs> I've got I've had my fill of that. I don't I don't wax nostalgic or philosophic. For, 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 for some reason I can't say that word. Uh philosophical. Um which probably isn't even the right term anyway, but I don't have some fond memory of of like the eighties era video games. Like but I, like Terrence, like you play a lot of old shit just because you get a lot of shit for free through various yeah. means. So like they made, like they made um, uh, Ninja Gaiden Black backwards compatible. I threw that in there and played for like four hours. It's a fun game. Like I'll play some old shit that I really enjoyed. Um, I know uh, Bayonetta is getting an upgrade for Xbox One X. Is going to be running at like a steady 60 and the they're going to bump up the polygon count for that so i'm going to go back to play that whenever that whenever i come get around to getting that thing um so yeah i, I mean but like old like what how old is he talking <laughs> like i'm not going back to nintendo games Fuck that no i i think it seems like he's he's um probably if i had to guess probably in like your ps2 xbox slash ps3 360 range 
Yeah, I'll I'll throw an old Xbox 360 game in every once in a while. Plus, like you said, <laughs> you get them for free every month. And if it's worth a damn, I'll play it. The only time I play old games is if it's like a Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a cla- like a classic game, like a timeless a timeless yeah. game. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, you're right. Like, I, it's why would you play old shit when there's all this new stuff that looks pretty and is fun? So yeah, because it looks pretty. Yeah. I mean, but a lot of times that's all. <laughs> that's <laughs> literally also all true. Is. Um, Evan says favorite Thanksgiving dish. Um. Shit. My mother's uh, stuffing. She does a pretty good job of that. My mother makes a. Uh, my mother makes a candied pecan sweet potato casserole, where it's just sweet potato, I don't like sweet potatoes. and candied uh, pecans on top, and you know it's seasoned properly and all that. Like that's it's the only way I'll eat sweet potatoes now. <laughs> I remember the first time I had sweet potatoes, I was over at my aunt's house, and. Um, I was like, these are these are gross, and I'm never having them again. <laughs> they weren't done, like they weren't done. They were just fucking wet. It was just like they just put them in hot water to just kind of boil them. And I'm like, get out of here, man. This is this is gross. And my mother made that, and I'm like, oh, all right. Well, guess what's happening now? <laughs> the only way I'm gonna eat them. Favorite Thanksgiving dish. Well, the interesting thing is about my Thanksgiving dinners is like they don't really make anything special for thanksgiving <laughs> it's just like more of like what a sunday dinner would be mm-hmm. a turkey you got turkey like i love the stuffing that she makes it's very good uh turkey's never really dr- turkey's never dry and that's not easy to do turkey yo that should be dry as fuck <laughs> like, <laughs> like if you do it wrong turkey it's mm. dry turkey is not for me um <clears throat> I don't really, I don't know if I have a, a favorite dish that she makes. My my aunt makes an amazing macaroni and cheese. Baked, of course. If you don't have baked macaroni and cheese, I don't like you <laughs> as a person. <laughs> like, but, but no, like my aunt makes this like a, an amazing baked macaroni and cheese. I think that may be one of my favorite dishes. Don't tell my mother. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it her sister yes okay that's yes. that's why <laughs> um like she dinner, wants to learn how to make it like her that's how good it is dinner thanksgiving dinner is not as big a deal to me as thanksgiving dessert i need a good pumpkin pie on thanksgiving that's uh it's no, the day's no not complete without that you're a pie guy oh, oh, oh i am a pie guy i am so I'm sorry my mother's fucking apple pie is the greatest she got it from her grandmother I would take yeah. a good apple pie. Yeah. As well. You would be a cake guy, Micah, wouldn't you? Cake guy. I'm a cake guy. Much to my wife's chagrin. <laughs> like what? Yeah, I, will, I will take I will take yeah, a pie cake. over a cake seven days a week, twice on Sunday. Yeah, I would I'd, I'd rather a pie than a cake. I'm not a I'm not a big cake guy. I have to have ice cream if I'm eating cake. Yeah. That's, well, that's, see, that, that's why I'm like, <laughs> that, that explains like that I can that. it's weird like I can't have cake without ice cream like it just doesn't it doesn't work for me um we're gonna get through these next couple kind of quickly um Anthony says how would your favorite game how would one of your favorite games turn out if made by a different publisher such as Mass Effect being made by Rockstar There'd be a lot more reporter punching in Mass Effect if it was made by Rockstar. <laughs> like it would give you the option to shoot her in that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean that that would be the difference, right? So, like the difference in, with Mass Effect would be every character that you interact with in in any space that you go to would be like an NPC that you could kill, I guess, you if you wanted to. Much murder, right? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of favorite games turn out if made by another. What's one of my favorite games? Like, what if? Capcom made Ninja Gaiden or Ninja or or like Ninja what are they? Tecmo made Devil May Cry. <laughs> that shit well, I mean, so I mean then, then, nin, then Ninja Gaiden would have been rebranded 50 times and have a <laughs> protagonist that doesn't wear a mask of any kind. Mm. And uh, Devil May Cry would be like a hardcore action game. Well, it is kind of an hardcore action Well, game. even harder core than it is right now. I don't. Um, I don't like the, the only time I I 
the only two examples I can think of of this happening are when Ninja Theory did Devil May Cry, mm. which I enjoyed that game. It was but... it was an okay game, but it 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 was different. <laughs> it was and, uh, Devil May Cry. <laughs> and when um when uh Itagaki's team, what, what's what's the name of his company? When Itagaki's team did Metroid Other M. Oh yeah. Oh Team Team Ninja is what yeah. you Ninja, that's what I was thinking of. Team if Team Ninja did, did Devil May Cry. Mm. And um Capcom did Ninja Gaiden if they kind of switched. <clears throat> yeah, that would be very bizarre. Yeah, but uh, Metroid Other M, I didn't play it, but apparently it wasn't very good because nah, yo. Samus was uh It turned Samus into a bitch, yo. <laughs> like <laughs> uh. Um, Kenneth says is a filthy casual. Two questions. Uh, I know that RPGs and MMOs have always had an element of grinding to them. When did this make the jump to FPSs? Uh, that happened when RPG elements started coming to every game on the face of the planet. Yeah, not everything needs RPG, RPG fucking elements. Like, come on, man. That's 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 why you still got your Wolfenstein's out there. Speaking of which, have any, have any of you played that? Not yet. Apparently, it's very good. That's what I hear. It looks very difficult as well, which I'm not always necessarily looking for from a shooter, personally. I don't like hard first-person shooters. Man. That shit bothers me <laughs> when they're too fucking <laughs> difficult. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, his second question, what do you consider an acceptable amount of grinding for a game? Provide an example if that makes it easier for ex- easier to answer. I want to be able to grind to the point where I am God. Yep. That's like if you can if I don't like that scaling shit where the the stronger you get, the stronger your goddamn enemies get. Like nigga, yeah. I did this shit so I can become a god. Fuck you. Wait, what's the point? <laughs> right. Like fuck off. That's well, what I don't I don't need to become a god in my games. Um I just feel like you always have you, you, it's always good to feel like you're working towards something. And I no. think that that's one thing I work towards becoming a god. Well, that's and that's fair if that's the one thing you want to work <laughs> towards. But I think that's the one like of all the criticism that Destiny gets, I think that's the one thing that they don't do well is that they don't really make it clear what you're working towards once you get to a certain point in the grind. If that makes sense. Like there's not a lot of not a lot to shoot for on the horizon. Like but with, conversely with Diablo, like you're always getting paragon levels and you're always getting you know other stuff that helps make your character more powerful as you go throughout the game so i think that's i think that's why i think as long as you have something to chase then and 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 as long as that something's not bullshit i think that's kind of what you want in a game where you grind i guess yeah i agree um john says since today makes 12 years since he died uh what are your favorite eddie guerrero moments slash matches we can each give one for this um when uh when he was a home wrecker and fucked <laughs> Ray mysterio's wife <laughs> and they had a child and then Ray mysterio was like you're not my baby it was like no that's not your baby and yeah, that shit was funny, man. Like, like it was like watching a telenovela. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't remember that shit. Oh, you don't remember that? Like, oh, it, 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 cul- it, culmina- it culminated with a uh, with a a custody agreement ladder match. Yeah, yo, yo, yo. what the <laughs> fuck? Are you serious? Yes. Oh Jesus! Like that's like that's the silliness of wrestling that i that i like man like it's so it's so fucking stupid <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't i don't think i was actually watching wwe when he was in there a lot i didn't i was i literally stopped watching like in 2002 and then what about wcw w- i don't remember anything from wcw okay. <laughs> so for see for me like my my the first <clears throat> wrestling match that i ever saw that made me really sit up and take notice of like whoa like this is what professional wrestling can be was eddie guerrero versus Rey mysterio at halloween havoc 97 for the cruiserweight title mm-hmm. and that was an amazing match it's still it's still probably like if you if you straw poll um a bunch of wcw fans and you ask them the best cruiserweight match of all time that's still that's probably going to get the lion's share of the vote still um it just so happened to be the first pay-per-view that i ever saw like while being a wrestling fan 
so that one always stood out in my mind and uh and man who'd have thought that that dude would ever become world champion one day yeah man wcw fucked up all the time <laughs> <laughs> i do uh, Jake, remember his matches oh. with him and dean malenko in wcw though they always had really good matches but that's kind of like the the extent to to my eddie guerrero uh jake says favorite sega saturn game that is an oxymoron <laughs> if i've ever heard yeah. one in my entire life my favorite sega saturn game <laughs> is um going around guessing if people know what a sega saturn is <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have. I was a Nintendo guy uh, back in the day, so I d- I didn't have anything Sega. <sighs> Favorite Sega Saturn game. Jesus, I had a Sega Saturn. Um, Fire Pro Wrestling. <laughs> 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 I had to get the the the, the, the little cartridge expansion. No, actually, Marvel vs. Capcom was on there. The oh, original one. Yeah, that was on there, but you needed the the little cartridge. To give it more RAM or whatever to play it. Um, that there was a Dragon Ball Z game on there that was kind of fun that I had to import. But probably, probably the Fire Pro game. Chris, what is mine? What it was. Daytona USA. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's either that or Night Trap. One, one of those. Right, two. right. No, that was Sega. <laughs> I like, like I said, the, 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 Sega, the Sega Saturn was my greatest bullet dodge of all time. I was just telling Micah before the show. I, I, I almost bought that console for ninety nine dollars, and it came with three games. And then even, but even thirteen year old me, who was not as keyed into the game industry now, took a step back and said, "Wait a second. There's got to be a reason that this console is ninety nine dollars, and the PlayStation is a hundred and ninety nine dollars." Why would that be? So I did some <laughs> research and I bought the PlayStation with WCW Nitro, which is a fucking awful wrestling game. <laughs> Yo, but, <Ugh. laughs> but I still bought it. Gross. But like I said, I dodged the bullet. The Saturn was awful. And it's all Sega's fault that the Saturn was awful. Don't don't release your console three months ahead of when you said you're gonna release your console, idiots. <laughs> Uh, Randy said, how would you three build the next generation of consoles? Um, I'll tell you one one feature that I would add with the next generation of consoles is the ability to upgrade them easily, um, but like a PC where you can add components down the road to enhance the capabilities of it, but, but done in an easy way. I don't want to have to crack my fucking console open to add like increased RAM or a better GPU or anything like that. You would have to, <laughs> or you just plug it like like. Yeah, there's there's got to be some inventive way that they can figure <laughs> that they can figure this out. There's there's smart people that work at these companies, Terrence. Yeah, I don't know. Yo, you can't even upgrade your PS4 <clears throat> without opening it up, can you? <laughs> I mean, what do you mean, like the hard drive? Yeah, yeah, but that's but that's easy to do, actually. Like like that's it's idiot proof. Like even if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you still you can still do it. Because it's like five screws and that's it. Yeah, I, I I think that's I think that's I guess the next logical step. Uh, you know, this VR thing ain't taken off. Um, motion controls uh, I think have finally gone the way of the dodo. <laughs> um, we just gotta wait for Nintendo to think of something, implement it too early, and then uh, let the other two uh, do it right. Effect on it. <laughs> but ca- cameras are a bust motion controls are a bust uh virtual reality in my opinion is a bust i would probably just make the next console more powerful and not have any gimmicks i yeah. wouldn't have any gimmicks and then that's basically what the fucking xbox one x is and the ps4 pro is right Right. Sort of, like, yeah. just strong system. But like I said, like I wish, I wish I could have gotten a One X without having to spend five hundred dollars on a One X. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I wish I could spend two hundred dollars on upgrades for my current Xbox One. Yeah, but like again, you have to somehow open it up. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, Nintendo put expansion ports on their consoles and 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 stuff like that. I figure they could do something similar. Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And then finally, Gregory apparently wants us to talk about the Power Rangers. All 26 seasons of Power Rangers. He says Yo. they're only in high school in maybe six of them. Yo. I watched Lock the first is. season. The uh, end. Yeah, that was it. That was it for me, too. Like, <laughs> I literally watched the first two seasons because at the time I was in gr- still in grade school. And it was interesting to me. But I, Power um, Rangers did not survive the test of time for me, for sure. Not for me. Either. I watched the first season only because um, they had a black guy on there named Walter Jones. And I <laughs> knew I knew a Walter Jones. And he would get a bunch of bullshit. Because his name is Walter Jones. And so we would always call him Black Power Ranger. We would always call him like Zach and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, and so he would get so pissed. Um, yeah, like I said, if you, if you want someone to talk about Power Rangers, yo, you call Jack. <laughs> you call Jack and you call Demetrius. And you can, they will talk your fucking ear off about Power Rangers. So yeah, yeah, I don't know anything outside of the first season. Yeah, Walter Jones and Amy Jo Johnson and uh, Billy Yost, like all those people were. Billy Billy is a little bitter, but uh, Walter Jones is Walter Jones is is cool. He knows what he knows. He knows his role, right? And then Amy Jo Johnson is just kind of like nice about it, but doesn't really care about Power Rangers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard that other guy is like a bigot or something like that. Like he, oh, the red one, the red yeah, ringer. Yeah, yeah. I saw a video of him. Oh, and then Tommy. Everybody likes Tommy Everybody Oliver. Likes Tommy. Uh, Jesus didn't tap. Everybody likes that guy. Indeed. So that is it. So, like I said, I I thought that was a, a fun bit of questions we had from you guys. Yeah, very much so. Uh, that's it for the show. Since we're almost at two freaking hours. Um, densepixels.com slash fans and our fan group uh, if you're not in there you, you're missing out um, densepixels.com is our website uh, Facebook and Twitter at densepixels subscribe to us on iTunes Google Play Music or any podcatcher that you choose um, also on Twitch TV I'm densepixelsbrad Terrence is apparition410 Micah is Dense Black Nerd, and Carrie is sup it's Carrie so again next week uh, tune in for the Keeley Award nominees and our reaction to those um, as well as our Survivor Series recap which we will have for you as is customary after one of the big four pay-per-views. But until then, see ya. See ya. Take it easy.